I'm going to start this project by breaking a board here. Maybe you can see that. There's a stress fracture right here. It doesn't go all the way through, but it's, it's right there. Then there's another one down on the other end. Right here. Running this way. And I'm going to see what happens when I pry on this. I could I pried a little bit before I got the camera out, but I could I could hear it wanting to go. So I don't know how far it's going to go, but whatever it does, I'm going to I'm going to take it and then just glue it back together. Let's see what happens here. On this end, it's about uh, maybe an inch and a quarter, an inch and a inch and three eighths down where I can see it in the end grain here. First of all, this is an eight foot board and I cut it to the length I need, approximate length. And you can hopefully you can see this opening up right here. Right here. There it goes. Looks like it's gonna go down this way. So let's see what happens here. get it up a little higher. It opens up right there. I got one right here. doing is just putting glue in here and then putting it back together this way. No, maybe not. We got two splits going here, that's the Okay, I can put that one down and put this piece on top of it. And clamp it back together and get something usable out of this thing. I'm going to make a mark on here, even though it's pretty self-evident which way it goes. but. Okay, now this piece goes way down there. Problem is when I'm as I'm prying this, it's I'm going against my extrusion.
All right. Got a little minor fix right here. I think this one will be okay. Just starting to clamp it back together. And one thing for sure is you're going to make a mess. And I'm just wiping off the glue here. I don't really care because I'm going to face joint these and then run them through a cleaner. Well, I want to get down here on the end of this. some of that off of there. And it slid on me. It's got to come this way. That's better. Lots of glue on the back side here. And this piece moved as well. That's good to come that way. Clamps are off. Let's see if we can get a usable piece out of this. Uh, this board, you know, came uh, from the, uh, this end, I believe, yeah. This end, this end attached to the end of this one, like so, I believe. Yes. And so this crack continued and so I broke this piece off and glued it on. Uh, it also has a crack in the center but I as hard as I could I could not get this thing to move or even sound like it was going to make it uh, a snap. I drew a pencil line on it. This is very exaggerated. It's not this long but it's right in here. So I'm going to uh, keep my eye on that as I I'll run these through my joiner and planer but I'll come back after I, after I do those operations all right not too bad this is the uh, piece I broke in or the the board I broke into three pieces uh, you can still see the crack on this side right here but on the opposite side let me just rotate it this way this face is nice and clean. I can't see any evidence of where this was glued back together. Now well, maybe a little bit right there. Other than that, this face looks really nice. So I'll put this one to the outside, this one to the inside. Now on the other board, the one that I only snapped the one piece off of, let me see this. I can barely see the glue here. The piece I broke off was back here. I can barely see the glue line right here. And I can't see the I can't see the line here at all. It's gone. Maybe just a little bit right there. And on 
this side just a little bit right there. That crack in the middle, still there, but that disappeared a little bit with the planing and face joining. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with the way these are looking. I oh, know, here's that face. Here's that crack right there a little bit. So, I'll orient these boards to put this to the inside of the, uh, of the game. So those boards that are, I broke apart turned into this project. An a-hole game that I'm uh, that I made for a fundraiser that we have for our uh, local Kiwanis Club, and you can see going up the side of this board, you'd be hard pressed to find where those stress fractures were. And then on this side. You can see that this board turned out equally well. And I did put the um, I guess the, the, the most obvious glue joint is on the inside. I'm particularly happy with the way these pegs turned out. Uh, that's a half inch dowel that I just put in a drill and turned these down with a file until I got to the to the diameter I wanted. Um, coated them all with shellac and then obviously painted three of the four. Uh, these holes were done with my Shaper Origin and, and that turned out really nice and these lines that are engraved here for uh, you know 5, 10, 15, 20 and on up uh, those turned out great too. I was also able to uh, engrave a box around the starting line. So let me turn it on quick. Really, really a nice project. Very pleased with this one. Golf season's about ready to start. So thanks for watching, and if something comes along that I need to put up uh, during the summer, I will, but this could be the last one for a little while. Oh, let me do this before I go. This is the light kit I used. Uh, the, the previous kits that I had used before were not available, so I ended up using this one. It's, it's okay, it works, obviously, but I, I like the other one. It was a little more streamlined, and you didn't have this big uh, converter box. So that's the only drawback. And then I finished this one with... Uh, Armor Seal Satin. Thanks for watching.